What's going on, you guys? So Grand Tactician gave me a heads up that they released a new blog on April 1st uh, for their dev diary here. And it comes with a video here, The Demon of War. This is me, interesting. But before I play, ooh, that's, that's a quick uh, dev diary. Let's take a look at this real quick before we play the video. The main character in Grand Tactician of War is the war itself. To make the war come to life for the player of the game, the game features cutscene videos with epic reenactment footage from Richmond, Virginia, based on Lionheart Films, Filmworks, and a soundtrack created just for the game by Wessel and Weasels. With the tools, among others, we wish to create an atmosphere true to the period. All right. In their words, the campaign will have multiple starting dates, with the earliest one being set before the secession of the southern states. That's cool. The pre-war scenario allows players to choose political guidelines that will affect how the United States will look when the war erupts. That is really interesting. For example, the South could try to industrialize or hail King Cotton like was done historically. The chosen policies will also affect the border states and diplomatic relations with Europe. The later scenarios will allow jumping off from a historical situation from where the war will develop according to the choices made by the player and the campaign AI of the enemy. The war is divided into chapters, each with their own objectives and possibilities for the Union and Confederacy. Thinking again about the South, for example, during the war, it could be possible for, to have the European superpowers intervene, offering substantial military potential in the fight for independence. And later in the war, even if the fighting focuses on survival, it could be possible to demoralize the Union population by inflicting unbearable casualties, grinding the Northern advance to a halt. Oh, nice. Each chapter will start with a video telling a story. The above examples from chapter 2, named the Demon of War, where fighting has just erupted. The next step will be a major confrontation between the inexperienced volunteer armies. The videos are produced by our in-house director and editor, Matty Vecamo. My bad if I screw that up. <laughs> I'm not good with, uh, <laughs> with names. Featuring epic Civil War reenactment footage from Lionheart Filmworks and music from the game soundtrack recorded by Wessel and Weasels. Writing the videos, I wanted to give voice to the people that lived and fought during the war. In this, we got great help from our friend and author, Jonathan Allen, whose work 501 Civil War quotes and notes learns the war history from the words of those who lived it and made it, who were allowed to use in the making of the game. Wow, they got a lot of resources for this game. As the war progresses, the atmosphere changes as well. From the fervor before the first major engagements, the realization that the war would not be over by Christmas, to the shock of the new industrial war becoming Total war. All right, let's take a look at this video. This step, secession, once taken, can never be recalled. We and our posterity shall see our lovely South desolated by the demon of war. Alexander Stevens, Vice President of the Confederate States of America. Chapter 2 The Demon of War. The election of Abraham Lincoln, an anti-slavery Republican, as the 16th President of the United States was the last straw, triggering secession. One by one, Southern slave states declared secession from the Union and formed the Confederate States of America, led by President Jefferson Davis. This secession ignited the inevitable escalation, with fruitless efforts to still find a political compromise falling on deaf ears. Advocates of armed insurrection and fire eaters roam the states with steel in their eyes, and the public is aroused to volunteer, to fill the ranks, to quell the rebellion, and to preserve the Union or to secure independence from it. Following open hostilities, President Lincoln's militia call for 75,000 volunteers for three months' service, sparks incredulous protest and loud outcry among the southern states. And these sparks set on fire the irreversible. More states secede. Now it's war. 75,000, 100,000, and even more. Soon, the largest armies seen on American soil muster, drill, and prepare for war. A war that is to be neat, short, and limited. The whole matter would be settled by Christmas. But a dark shadow would loom over the growing and inexperienced armies. Without a swift and decisive blow from the very offset of the war, 
there's every chance of a long, confused, and disorganizing civil war, and even foreign powers may feel a desire to take a hand therein. The time is ticking for the newborn confederacy. The Union must act. The demon of war has awakened. All right, guys. So that was it. I really liked it. Okay. I it, I believe it adds a lot more substance to the game. Everything I know about this game, right? I I I love. Right? There is just this game is just incredible. It's to me, I believe this is going to be the best Civil War strategy and tactical game ever made. This is going to be the equivalent of the Shelby Foot narrative, right? So you have the Shelby Foot narrative for books, and you're going to have this game for the gaming side for the Civil War, right? And this is incredible. So I really like that they're taking particular attention and setting up individual chapters and giving people that are not familiar with the Civil War, kind of like an intro to it. So, you know, let's say you were a World War II or, you know, uh, more of a Revolutionary War uh, historian or expert or anything like that, right? But you don't know too much about this award. I like that they're including this. So it kind of gives you a branching off point. You don't actually have to read a book before you play the game, you know? I like that they're doing that. The reenactment footage was really actually really interesting. And I like it because... When I'm watching it, it kind of reminds me of, like, the video footage that you get from, like, the 50s, right? Like, that old color footage. It, it was kind of nice. I was just like, oh, the Civil War was only, like, what, 50, 60 years ago? <laughs> kind of thing. So, I like that. They didn't make it, like, modern, like, you know, 4K and everything like that. They they wanted to give you that impression, like, hey, this is footage we found kind of thing. Even though it's, you know, reenactment. So, I'm very psyched that they're adding these, you know, chapters to the game. And the fact that you can actually start the game before the war breaks out and adding all these sandbox modes that it can branch off to. So that's awesome. Very excited about this game. It's going to come out in the summer. However, now that I'm thinking about it, since we have all this stuff going on with the pandemic, I wonder if this is going to be delayed. So I know a lot of things are being delayed and games are kind of pushing back the release dates because, well, nobody can go to the office. So I, I do hope that... We see this game this year. Uh, hopefully, we all can get back to work and we can get to play an amazing game like this. Now, what would have been awesome is that the pandemic would have happened after this game came out because then <laughs> I could have used all this spare time, you know. But, you know, or that the pandemic would have never came. So, either way, I want to leave off on a good note. This is awesome. Can't wait to see the next Dev Diary. Catch you in the next one.